audio test. That's an advert. Beep boop beepily boop. Yep, okay, so we've got some audio. Do 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 do. That is really huge delay. Let's see if I can't refresh that. Is that any better? Nah, no, still. Okay, stream delay is high today, which kind of sucks, but okay. Shoving a tweet out. Okay, uh, switching over to desktop view, and I believe we are ready. Also, the bird is here again because he's good. <laughs> okay, totally good. Uh, camera angle could be adjusted, but it's still kind of tricky in the one monitor environment I've got right now. It'll do. So, I've never used Fusion 360 before, but I 3D print a bunch of stuff a lot. And while I've used Blender for everything so far, it's sometimes a bit awkward and stuff. I've not watched any tutorials for Fusion, which probably isn't a good idea. Um, I've seen the odd video of someone using it, but not really paid much attention to it because I'd not used it prior. But it seems like a, a good idea to use. I mean, it even has a button that says 3D print here, so. Seems like a good idea. I wonder if it'll actually allow me to change tolerances as well. But anyway, it's got some neat functions as far as I'm aware. Like, there's this timeline down here, which has all the stuff you've applied to a mesh. And it's, it effectively replaces that thing I do in Blender, where I make a duplicate and move it to another layer. And that that's potentially slow, and it makes the files really huge. And this kind of solves that. It also means that if you need to change something in an earlier step, you don't have to redo all the later steps. But I, I need to actually try this thing out. So my vague idea is that I know that what you usually do is you create a sketch and you can create extrusions and do modifications to it. And I haven't really explored the tools yet. I suppose I feel it's a bit like a bevel. Uh, there's chamfers I've seen people use, which are also like a bevel. I don't know if that's the same thing as a fillet. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, generally I'm just looking at stuff. Huh, that's a bit like a boolean then. Well, that's cool. And I'm spending a lot of time just saying how cool things are right now. Um, that doesn't really matter if it's come to you. I don't think it matters if I'm just making simple stuff. So I should probably cover the basic plan. Um, I have a phone, which I use to record stuff. And I have a microphone stand, which I usually use for a microphone, but right now we've got 
a Yeti, which doesn't need this, and it's too heavy for this anyway. And what I want to do, is I want to print some kind of thing I can attach to this, and then attach the phone to for an overhead camera view for when I'm making um, videos of making circuit boards and stuff, because that's something I want to try. Because, heck, I like making circuit boards. <laughs> It mostly be breadboarding though, which is because I don't, I can't really solder in here because I have a tiny friend, <laughs> a tiny wiki boy. And now I'm rambling and I've gone off topic. But anyway, yes, making a phone holding stand, which will consist of like a thing that goes onto the boom, has a phone gripping thing, and then a nut that you can tighten onto it to hold it into place. Um, it'll not be the most durable thing because tightening plastic against the screw often deforms it over time, but it should be enough to start with until I get like a, a long flexi arm or something. But right now this is the cheaper, most effective option. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. So yeah, we'll probably make a sketch of the basic shape. There's gonna be a hole for the screw thing, but it's gonna have a thread in it, which is part of the reason I'm using Autodesk for Fusion 360 because it has a proper thread generation tool. Blender kinda has one, but it's not very good. And you gotta do a bunch of booleaning and stuff which is also makes it difficult to adjust certain dimensions. Whereas if I find that, okay. If I find that the dimensions are a bit funky after I print a test piece, I can adjust them in the earliest step and it'll just be done. I won't have to do any weird scaling in Blender and hope for the best. Oh, okay. So, hello. Oh, very cute. Um. Yeah, I just want to see if create, create, does that allow you to create chamfers? Is that what you do, chamfers? I'm just saying chamfer a lot, but I don't think it matters too much. I wonder if that's better than how Blenders does it. Because I've used Blenders path tool a lot to make curvy shapes, but it often requires making annoying geometry. This might actually be better though. Pattern, pattern, mirror. Some pretty standard stuff. I can't really see a boolean modifier yet. Maybe that's shell? No. I suppose combine might do it. Cut forms boolean operations, yeah. Yeah, cut, intersects, or join. Okay. So, yeah, that's. The boolean modifier from Blender, essentially. So this is cool. Uh, draft it. Interesting. Interesting. So this is a lot more math-based than Blender as well. I often type in specific numbers in Blender, but you can't really change them later. Whereas this has a lot of, a lot of actual math stuff. Like, I mean, come on, look—you can actually inspect angles and junk. That's pretty good. Assemble of joints. Oh, I guess you can simulate actual, actual mechanical joints. That's interesting. Hmm. You're very good, but you're a bit loud when I actually talk at a volume people can hear, and at a speed people can hear. So, I suppose I've got. Got my trusty digital calipers here. They only go up to one decimal place, which kind of is a shame, but they're all right. Although they're interesting because they have a little little port on the side here. And I think you can read the measurement data off of it. I just don't know how. So I'm going to look into that at some point because I might be able to get higher resolution measurements just by hooking them up to an Arduino. Be interesting to see if I can figure out how to make a port that doesn't cause any problems. I might just solder some wire straight to it. There's nothing hurting me opening this up. It was a cheap Chinese one, so I wasn't really expecting magic in the first place. Anyway, so bits that I need. I need the phone holder. I need the screw hole. I need the main thing. So I guess I don't need a nut. So the nut's kind of going to be a, like a wheel. I can tighten up without too much problem, just to sort of keep things in a rigid position. I think I'll create that first because it'll be easy. It's just like a wheel with some missing bumps 
and a thread. So I guess I think the first piece to create a sketch. Very exciting. I'm going to put it along the XY plane because it's what I'm used to in Blender. The camera controls in this are different to Blender, which is a bit confusing for me. And I don't know if there's any quick buttons to just do the camera view stuff. So that's a thing. So I've got a sketch. I need an ellipse. Not an ellipse, I want a circle. I might as well make one of them. Um, let's see. A reasonable size for this would be about a three centimeter diameter. Specify diameter. Can I just go three centimeters? Will it just understand three cent? It will just understand three centimeters. That's wonderful. Okay. Oh, okay, but it doesn't freeze it. That's kind of a pain. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Hey, now it's actually got the measurement on it because I've specified it. I don't remember doing that earlier. Right, so I've got the diameter of that. Uh, I need another circle, which needs to be the center punch. Well, the, the thread, I guess. And it looks like... That's 9.2 millimeters. What's that in inches? 0.36. Maybe 0.35? I don't know. So, 9.2 millimeters. That's not really a standard, is it? Um, anyway, I'll create another circle anyway, I think. I think that's what I need to do. That was 9.2 millimeters, so 9.2 millimeters. And I don't know, I think what I want to do is I want to make that into a hole. Hi, huh, you can give them counter sinks. Hang on, I need to. Um, I wonder if I'm overthinking this. Maybe I can just extrude that one. Fa yeah, I can just extrude that one face. Uh, how tall do I want this to be? I've got how many millimeters of thread do I have available to me? I have approximately one centimeter. So for safety's sake, I might as well make them five and five. So we'll make that. Whoa. Uh, five millimeters. Okay, now we have a nice donut, and that didn't take long. Um, and then I believe what I can do is I can add a thread just by clicking that, making sure it's modeled, otherwise it won't be printable. I assume when you don't want it modeled, that's just when you want speed for your design. Okay, it's 9.2, but that's it wants it to be nine, so maybe it's not a metric profile. It's 0.35 inches. I don't know. Yeah, they all want nine millimeters. I mean, it's possible they still fit with some force, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. Three eighths. Calculate the time. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> That's not going to work backwards. And see what number is close to that. 0.375. How much did this say it was? Because if that's so, then it probably is a 3 8 inch screw. It was 9.2. Which is about... Hmm. I oh, know that's not the right mode. 0.36 inches, which means probably is three eighths. Double that seven sixteenths or seven sixteenths. I don't know this stuff off the top of my head because imperial is not in my head. Okay, so it's not as big as seven sixteenths. I'm assuming these are in size order. 
which means three eights is probably my best bet. But unfortunately, that doesn't let me choose the pitch. Can I give them custom sizes? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't. I need to find out what the pitch is. The pitch is approximately. Oops, I pinched my finger. 0 0.06 inches. Or 1.6 millimeters, which means probably actually 1.5 millimeters, and I pinched it wrong. Yeah, it's the only 1.5. What I might have to do is I might just have to scale it up to 9.2 because it could just be unusual. Because I don't know what the size of the adapter is I normally use for that because it's not standard microphone size either. Yeah, that doesn't even go up to 1.5. Do I have to manually generate this? Am I not able to... No, interesting, you can change how much fits the thread. Oh, that's interesting. But that's not the right depth. Huh, maybe this will be more of a challenge after all. I actually have a, a blender model of the design of the thread somewhere. I just can't remember where. Any of these have M9 with the thing above? Maybe there's like a plugin. Python script, huh? Hmm. They don't seem to have an automatic adder, do they? Um. Okay, so it's a bummer about the thread system because I thought I'd be able to generate whatever thread I wanted. It's free orbit re-enabled itself. No, okay, it just it just orbits about where you've clicked approximately, I think. Um I'm really miffed about that. Oh okay, that's how I If I just go through all these, one will come up. Maybe if I do a little Google, I can I can find out standard things for this. I can't remember what his measurement is though. I don't know. I'm gonna see. Nine point two millimeter screw thread. Let's have a Google. Um, disconnected? No, that means we probably lost the internet. Oh, no, we're back. Okay. Let's get Google on my phone. Actually, I wonder if I can split screen this on my phone so that I can still. Yes, I can still see the Twitch stuff in the chat while doing other stuff. That's super convenient. So, I'm going to Google something. I'm gonna. But please don't destroy my calipers. I'm going to go. This is very confusing in a squashed view, but at least I can know what's going on. I want.
9.2 millimeter mic screw that's yeah that's not helpful three eighths of an inch huh okay well I think it's putting me in the right direction Yeah, thread adapter 3 8 to 5 8 That makes sense to me. It looks just like the one I bought all that time ago. Okay, so that's good because it means now I'm kind of aware that it's in metric, which is not good. Inch tapping threads. The selected face is internal, but the current thread has no suitable type. Oh, okay. I get you. Maybe just say three eighths was. <laughs> These are not numbers that I just know in my head. Actually, that's the right thing there. Okay, well, let's just say I can see one, two, three, four ish threads on half of that, which looks right, I guess. I should probably actually measure stuff to just to be sure. Uh, I need. Definitely need to. Well, that's not what I expected. Oh, okay, so there's some convenient controls. Oh, there's a poo. Yeah, that means I can have the stream window up and the Streamlabs remote control at the same time. What is the grid doing? Oops. Uh, I could find out what the inner diameter is just to verify as well. About seven millimeters. I don't know, how do you specify? Can I make that bigger? It'd be nice if I could make that bigger. I can make it bigger. Designation. Trouble is, I have no idea how I specify the pitch of this, so I'm, I think I'm gonna have to use some measuring tools. Seventy-eight millimeters. I don't know what I've done. I could be measuring it wrong. Can I remove this? Because I just want like a point from one bit to the other side. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I won. Uh, I could probably. Now, nah, seven does not quick view to the top. Uh, you know, I'm going to see if anybody has done this in Fusion 360. Uh, UNC 3 8 inch thread looks like that's the thing. I like the split screen feature of my phone very much. I 
let's see. I'm trying to model a pot using a tripod and E38 inch UNC thread. Let's jump to the solution. But that's going to make a terrible sound. Oof. Maybe you should come off the microphone. But okay. Ansi unified thread types. Okay. See again, this would have been easier had I been more familiar with the imperial system, probably. Okay, so Ansi unified threads, three seven five, and then sixteen threads per inch type. I think that's what that is. Okay. I have no idea what the class is, but I imagine that's not too important. So that should be fine. That should be the thread for this mic stand, which means that's right. So now all this needs is the bumpy bumps that make it easier to hold. I've done this before in Blender, though, so it should be pretty easy. Um, it's essentially probably just going to be a boolean and see if I can make a, a rotated array. So I need probably a new sketch. And it should be a circle. And to actually be super safe, I should probably save this. Eh? Can I not just like save this in my documents? Hang on, let me see if I can save this file. This is some Autodesk Cloud BS, I think. I don't want to upload files. What happens if I put it in offline? It's already working offline. File. Save. If phone can't hear me. Yeah, it's got a V0 on it, so I guess that's something. This doesn't use too much cloud BS because that would not be fun for me. Right, so we've created a new sketch. The new sketch isn't there. I'm going to call this uh, tension. It's not really. That's kind of tension, but it's not really. sketch and I need it to have a circle. Can I? Oh, it wants me to snap it to the other sketch. Well, let's see if I can hide that sketch. No? Can I hide that? Yeah. Yes. No. No! Oh. I want to snap to grid. How do I change that? Snap. Um, okay, that stops snap for everything. Oh, okay, suddenly it's okay. I think that's 10. And really the diameter here doesn't matter too much. Okay. That didn't place it in the right place. No, stop doing that! <laughs> I just want it to snap to the grid. <laughs> Constraints. I don't know, I don't think they're what I want. Ah! Right now, I can't even move it now. I, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but can I can I manually change the properties of this? I mean, I like that I've got all this intersection stuff going on. Can Unless 
but that's probably only for bodies. Because there's no limits like that stuff. Okay, I don't think I need that. Well, I mean, those camera controls already liked me, so that's great. Okay, can... Ooh, that's interesting though. Can I... Get that extrusion and change where it's from. Now I know what I'm looking for in some other stuff. Come on, I want to make this into some kind of array, but I'm not really sure how. What is it doing? Why is there a circle in here? That's not supposed to be there. Okay, you're you. Very nice. And you've got a big purple circle. What is this big purple circle? Okay, big purple circle's gone. You can suddenly snap stuff there. Whatever. <laughs> ah, sketch circular pattern. Quantity. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven,
It now looks like a funky looking cog. Um, well that's nice. So now what I want is, oh look there's the chamfer tool. You need to modify instead of create. Wait, no, it's not even wasn't even in create before, I just couldn't see it. Okay, is there a way to select all of these quickly like in Blender? Is there a, a select hot tool? Selection tool select by boundary? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Paint selection. Huh. Mm, I'm accidentally selecting more than I want to select. You know what though? Let's just get all that ready. I want to do that. I want to continue selecting. No, you have cursed me. I don't want to select the hecking face. I just want to champ for this baby. Ah. <sighs> I don't want those chamfers. Uh, what is it doing? <laughs> this. This is incredibly inconvenient. Is it inverting the selection too? Oh my god. Couldn't just be convenient, could it? Why in the middle selected again? Okay, well that's how to deselect the ones you didn't want selected in the first place. Hey guys, it's me, Michael. Watch me get all upset at <laughs> some chuffing software because I'm confused by it because I didn't read the manual. Oh dear. Okay, I just want to chant for that whole lot. Now let's see what happens with a two millimeter chamfer. I screw it all up. No. <laughs> edit feature, edit feature. Okay, that. <laughs> that looks how I wanted it to. So, can I make these rounder? Because I mean, a champ is nice and all. Two distances. I'm not sure how that helps. Okay. Maybe there's like a subdivide tool I can do on stuff. Maybe a chamfer's not what I want. Maybe I do want to fill it. So I'm going to see what happens if I... Can I hide these? I'm done editing it. Suppress features. Okay, that's what I want. I fill it. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Give me the top view. Okay. Uh, I 
need to do that. I just need to do this. Ah, there you go. Okay, so fillet is nice and round. A champ for is all boxy. Learn something new. Apparently, though, I missed an edge, and so it's gone all pointy. And I missed a couple of edges, and they've gone all pointy and weird. Okay, still learning. Oh, that's really cool. It's like they're all nice and even, but that makes it all cute and blobby. I might actually go for the cute and blobby instead of the regular one. Okay, so I need to cancel that because I managed to miss a bunch of edges and I don't know how to go back into selection mode yet. We'll go for a nice fillet. Mmm, fillet of chicken. Try and select everything I missed before. Ah, what am I doing? Why is it sometimes invert the selection but sometimes not? That seems a little counterintuitive. Like, what's going on here? I thought it was because I was holding shift earlier, but I've made sure I'm, I'm not holding shift. Shift holding obviously being a habit from Blender. I think obviously. <laughs> it's not really obvious unless you're sat in the room here with me going, ah, you seem to hold shift a lot. Yeah, I appears to be every edge like this time. I liked 1.5 millimeters. And look, it's all cute and blobby. <laughs> okay, so theoretically, that should be the tension cog. It's not really a cog, it's just a, a thread. A it's a nut, essentially. It's just a fancy looking nut that's easier to grip than a circle. I wonder what that does. Yeah, it freezes auto desk, pretty cool. It doesn't really do anything special, I guess. Right, so do I want that kind or do I want the cute one? Look at that, it's so round. It doesn't matter which one I decide on later because I can change for this one ever because this is way more convenient than Blender. Okay, so that's good. The cog, the cog, the tension nut is essentially done. Which means I now get to work on the phone bit, which requires some more measurements. But it's not as much of a chance to put together. I'll probably use a lot of the same stuff. Yeah, that's, that's not, can I add groups to this? A group. Yeah. Tension nut. Drop that in there. Get a little hide. Okay. Right, well, I guess this bit is. Can I read it? Yeah, okay. Phone hold a bit. Oops. Still not used to this. Bird, are you ever coming back? Yeah? You're having a munch right now. I'll let you be. Um, I suppose I might as well leave the camera on since I'm probably going to measure some stuff and you might want to watch me waggle a set of calipers around. Ooh, excuse me. Right. I've done it again. I've accidentally 
rotated my view when I just wanted to pan because the controls are inverted from Blender and I can't figure out how to change them. Yay. So I need a line. And ideally that line should be attached to both this circle and the Y thing, but I can't figure it out yet. that one. I have to not have it enabled when the circle's visible in order to not touch it. But if I do that, then it's fine. And, and now if I make that visible, we have that. So I can, I can pull this edge in. Can I make it snap? Surely I can like align its coordinates somehow. Here is a really obvious tool: grids and snaps. Snap to grid. Grid settings. You can move. There's not. There's not. Don't snap to thingies. Um, display settings. Oh, here we go. That does not snap into grid unless you already snapped to grid. That's interesting. Move. Okay. Because I only need a couple millimeters room for the tension hook. What I'll probably do is I'll have this in like two major chunks. I'll probably have a think that the unit's one centimetre tall, or maybe it was half a centimetre tall. So we'll probably have 0.2, uh, 25, no, a 2.5, 2.5 millimetres, is that what I'm thinking of? Maybe, but I might as well go with the whole hog and just go for five millimetres. Uh, but that wouldn't provide much room for this thingy. Right, so we'll probably make this round bit two and a half millimeters wide and then have a bit that's taller whoa why is google open and then oh i've got a headache already that's a bit unusual i guess because this is unusual to me and it's annoying me in some ways but i'll probably get over the quirk soon enough i hope Right, so then there'll be a taller bit right next to it and it'll have the phone mount on it. Whoop, I've done it again. Where I want to pan and I go the wrong way. I suppose they've got pan on an easier button because you're gonna be panning more in your sketches than you're gonna be orbiting. So where is? Oh, there's the move tool. I guess if I just like, shortcuts will be useful here, because if I just hit M then that comes up and that's really handy. It'll probably be really useful if I can figure out how to set up measurements to like always appear. I know you can do it somehow, I just don't know how. Ah. How 
How do I use that? Eh, like that. Oops. I wonder if changing that will actually change the circle. No. It's not even centered on the circle. <laughs> okay. Well, at least now I know how to create those. Ugh. I might have to take a break already. My head's killing me. Um, let's just stick a bit on that's the width of my phone thing, including its protective case. That's 78.6 millimeters, so that's... Um, can I just... No, I can't. I think I've got to draw another line. Or maybe a rectangle. I forgot what the measurement was already. Just like that, tapping to that. 76.2. It wasn't there, that's just my favorite number. 78.79 it's reckoning, but I should probably go for 78.8, so that's got some grip. I'll just stick 79 millimeters in for now. Milli millimeters. Okay. And that's that's the bit that'll hold the phone. But I'll probably I'll probably be naughty and make it a bit taller. What the heck did I just move? Wow, I did it again. I think I'm gonna to have to manually draw additional rectangles on this. I don't think that's the end of the world. What does that do? What does that do? It's a constraint, okay, I think. Okay. Uh, that's the right shape. It just effectively needs a clip on this end and a clip on this end. And it should be big. But honestly, my head is killing me. So I think I'm going to take a break. Um, I'm just going to take a little screen cap of the, of the nut. Ah. <sighs> I mean, hey, at least I managed to do some stuff and I didn't, like, freak out as much about talking as normal. So that's the thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, shame I'm ending this soon. But uh, thanks for watching. If you drop by, I'm just really not feeling it right now. See you later, alligator. I think that's the button. Let's see. Oh, no, that's not it.